What's up, Odoers? Nathan here. Now that we have our live chat channels all set up, it's time to start chatting. Delivering timely support is important to us. With Odoo's live chat application, operators can engage with website visitors in real time, answering questions, resolving issues, and even driving sales. Today, I'll guide you through the process of joining and leaving a live chat channel and managing the chat requests effectively. Okay, first things first, let's change my chat preferences by clicking my user avatar here at the top right, followed by my profile. Here's where I can set my online chat name. This is the name that appears in the chat window and what my customers see. Maybe you want to use a nickname or just keep your last name private. Nonetheless, I'm just going to enter my name here in the online chat name field. Under that, we have our online chat language. I can select multiple languages, which I'll be available to chat in. I'll start with English, and it just so happens that I've been brushing up on my Spanish, so I can also add Spanish to this field here. Just a heads up, I can only choose a language if it's been added to the database. Lastly, let's take a look at this live chat expertise field. Our chatbot has the ability to forward conversations to operators based on their subject expertise. So if the chatbot has a customer who needs to talk to an accounting expert, we can add accounting right here and it'll forward us this conversation if we're available. This is a great way to make sure our customers are assigned to the support agent with the best knowledge to help them, especially if there's a bunch of us working at once. And per usual, don't forget to click save before moving on. Now let's jump into a channel. Before I can start receiving messages, I need to join a live chat channel. So we're going to jump into the live chat app. Here, you'll be able to see a list of all the available channels. To join a channel as an operator and begin receiving chats, all you have to do is click this join button right here on a specific channel. And of course, when I'm ready to leave that channel, all you have to do is click leave. Okay, now that I'm signed into the channel, I can start chatting. When a visitor initiates a chat, a notification appears in the bottom right corner of my screen. Okay, looks like this person's having trouble with the bill, but they haven't given me a lot of information, so let's figure out what the problem is. To save time, I'm gonna use one of my canned responses. Canned responses are pre-configured shortcuts that make it easy to replace shortcut entries in place of longer, well-thought-out responses to some of the most common questions and comments. So I'll just click the plus sign right here in the chat box, select insert canned response, and I'm gonna select info since I need some more information. The canned responses are typed out and it saves me some time and helps me not make any typos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send this off to the customer. Uh-oh, it looks like they were overcharged. That's not good. We should make sure we take care of this as soon as possible. Luckily, live chat is integrated with our help desk app so I can create a ticket directly from this conversation but we're gonna to need to get a little bit more information first. So I'm gonna hit this plus icon again, select insert canned response, and this time I'm gonna select name and send this off. Perfect. Now let's add one more canned response and we're gonna hit the plus icon, select insert canned response. This time we're gonna select thanks. Now we're gonna modify this one a little bit. We're also going to add someone will contact you soon. And now we'll send this off. I can also use a ticket command to create a ticket directly from here. All I have to do is select slash and then type ticket, select the first option here, and then we're going to type in overcharged on invoice and then hit enter. Boom, a brand new ticket was created just like that. So let's take a look at it. Since we created this ticket from a live chat conversation, the chat transcript is right here in the description. This makes it easy for whichever operator will be handling the issue. Since this ticket is about an invoice, I'm going to add the invoice tag here in the tags field, and then of course, save this. And when I save this, it's automatically assigned to whatever operator handles these tickets. Oh wait, looks like it's me. I better get started on this. 
all talked out yet? I hope not, because it looks like I have some more visitors to take care of. So until next time, see you later, O-Doers.